Well, hello there. I just made a trip a month ago uh, from the Philippines to the U.S. And I just wanted to go over, I know a lot of people wondering, you know, what's required and stuff like that. Uh, but I had to get a, a PCR test and I got it at uh, Ace Hospital and it was 2,600 pesos. And you get the PCR test and then you have to do it, you know, uh, 24 hours before you travel. And so, um, just a minute, uh, I think I need to get some coffee. Okay, that's better. Okay, so uh, you have to get it uh, 24 hours before you travel. So I went to Ace Hospital and got my PCR test and they send it uh, email and you just print it up, you know, when you get it. So I went to the airport and you go through the x-ray scan when you first get there and then I checked in in Dumaguete Airport and uh, and they asked me for passport ticket PCR test results that's it that's all they asked me for at the airport well I'm here at the Dumaguete uh, airport and they have remodeled it and all the I'm in the lobby and all the food vendors are or snack vendors are gone the only thing here now is uh, in the corner they have a Bose coffee you see it over there there's Bose coffee it's all remodeled here so it's, uh, I think there's a whole lot more seating. It goes around there too. Now, uh, the flight was delayed uh, quite a bit. And I was supposed to leave, uh, uh, supposed to arrive in Manila like uh, something like 5 p.m. But it wasn't until uh, around around that time that the plane finally took off and went to Manila. Okay, I arrived in Manila at about, I was in the, the uh, airport terminal at about 7 p.m. And my flight leaves for LAX at 9 p.m. So, ah! That's a couple hours. That should shouldn't be any problem. I'll probably get done with the check-in. Okay. Now, when I was in Dumaguete, I asked the ticket agent. I said, "Well, do when do I do I need to take my bags out in um, in Manila, my check-in bags, and check them in again?" He said, "No. You you pick them up in at LAX." I said, "Oh, wonderful. Okay." So I go there and I went, when I was in Manila, I went to what's called a transfer desk and I asked about it and the woman there said, that is misinformation. I said, oh, okay, well, what do I do? So, well, you have to get your, your check-in luggage off the carousel and then bring them to the furthest out carousel and they will, uh, inspect your luggage. I said, oh, uh, go through a uh, uh, x-ray? No, but it needs to be checked. 
Okay, so I got my check-in luggage and took them over to the check-in or the uh, inspection uh, counter and they open, you open, you open your luggage and then they, they run this thing through and they stick it in this machine and they said, yeah, it's okay. Okay, now what do I do now? So you just put it there and, and it'll, it'll uh, go into your, uh, it'll go to the correct flight. Oh, uh, okay. So I walked over to get my boarding pass and I, I went to, uh, uh, I was getting in line and somebody from Philippine Airlines said, where are you going? I said, well, I'm, I'm going to get, get my boarding pass. So, well, you have to do an interview first. I said, an interview? Yeah. So I talked to another employee and she's asking me different questions and, um, okay. So did that, stood in line, got my boarding pass. I said, where do I go? I said, well, uh, you have to walk down that way. And I thought, oh, well, wait a minute. Um, that's, um, oh, I had to go before I did the check-in from the transfer desk to, uh, getting my boarding pass. I had to exit the airport and then get back in the airport. And that required an x-ray. So, oh, and before I loaded up in Dumaguete, then I had to go through another x-ray. You do an x-ray in, in Dumaguete when you enter, then once you checked in uh, your, to get your boarding pass, then you do another x-ray and then you go to the lobby. Okay, so then when I got to Manila, I had to take my check luggage and get it inspected and then put it on the carousel, then exit the airport and then get an x-ray and get back in the airport. There was no way, there was no way around that. I tried to catch a different elevator and it, there was no way. So, so I did that x-ray. So that's two x-rays and then one x-ray at Manila. Okay. So then I had to go. Uh, so they told me after I got my boarding pass, you have to keep uh, you have to go to this area. So I went and talked to the security guard there and he said, you have to go through immigration. I said, immigration? Well, I'm not arriving. I'm, I'm leaving. No, you still have to go through immigration. You got to fill out this form. And they had what's the, you know, they gave me a copy of what's called the attestation form. And I already had that. And I, I showed him and it was like a half sheet of paper and an attestation form. And, and I said, well, what do I do? And he said, don't worry about that. Uh, the attestation form. He said, "You, but you need to fill this this uh, half sheet of paper out. Okay, but there was like counters and pens and stuff. So I filled it out and I went through immigration. Wait in line, go through immigration to exit the uh, Philippines. And okay, so I get there and the, the uh, immigration, you know, they, they flip through your, 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 uh, uh, your passport, real passport, t -t 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 -t. and they were looking for something and she couldn't find it and she started asking me for other identification and I told her, so okay, I have this, I have that, and she flipped through there and then she found it. Oh, okay, where are you good to go? Okay, so where do I go? She walked over there. Where do you go? X-ray again. So, um, went through X-ray again. And I've been through this before and right now it's probably almost 9 p.m. And I know there's another x-ray before you get on the plane. And so since it's almost time for loading, so I, uh, oh, and, and they, they asked me for, um, uh, I think a few times they asked me if I had, um, a, uh, um, uh, a vaccination card and I told them no I don't I'm not vaccinated not yet anyway and but you don't need a vaccination card uh, to um, to fly from uh, the Philippines to the US no vaccination card needed so uh, now coming back now that's different so I, I, I got that far and I knew there was another x-ray coming up. So that's two in Dumaguete, three, 
x-rays in Manila. And I know that's the way they do it, even prior to the pandemic. So I went and got my uh, third x-ray, and now it's 9 p.m. time to board. Oh, okay, so I get on the plane and fly to LAX. And then when I get to LAX, um, you don't have to fill out that that customs form thing anymore. They just tell you if you have something to declare, then just tell them, and you can fill it out then. Or if you need one and you're you've got some stuff that you're bringing in that you believe needs to go through customs, to fill that out. So you don't need to fill that out anymore. Also, I had the Trays app, and and all my uh, I was never asked for that. And I was never asked for the attestation form either, even in even in the United States. So I went through. Um, so the way they do it, and when you well, I don't know about now, but this was about a month ago. You you arrive in the U.S. and of course they want to see your um, PCR test, and that was about it. You know, you, you just go through customs and. But you go through, it's interesting because you go through customs before you pick up your check luggage. So I thought, well, maybe there's something else they're going to, that line that I'll have to get in after I uh, get my check luggage. But no, you go through, go through customs and then you go, uh, go get your check luggage and that's it. You're done. Just uh, go outside and get in a taxi. Oh no. Oh no, no, oh, no, no, you don't. Okay, so I went outside, I was looking for a taxi. I didn't see any taxis. I thought, well, maybe I'm on the wrong level here or something. And I talked to somebody that worked at LAX. I said, where's the taxis? How do I get a taxi? And he said, taxis are not allowed at the airport anymore. Uh, well, okay, well, what about Uber or Lyft? No, Uber or Lyft is not allowed in the airport. What about those shuttle vans? No, no shuttle vans either. Huh, really? Uh, so what do I do? Well, you catch a bus, a, tra a shuttle bus, a big bus, and it will take you to a staging area and then you can catch all those things. Well, well who's allowed in the airport? Um, uh, the uh, rental car buses that come that drive by, those are allowed, and the hotel buses are allowed to come through the airport. And if you have a friend or relative that's you know private auto that's going to come and pick you up. Uh, other than that, not allowed, not anymore. So I so that means you have to load all your stuff in on the bus and they have the shelves and everything and the bus driver helps people put the stuff on the bus or they have a helper that's uh, that's on the sidewalk and then uh, after that then then you go to the staging area and it's about five miles away and uh, but um, uh, there are these guys that work for the airport that tell you where to go and and to get a taxi and all that and they help you with your luggage also and they also have those little uh, carts so once you get there you're okay and so i got in uh i got my stuff got it on the cart and then rolled it to where uh there's supposed to be a um, the the taxi line and there's a lot of hustle and bustle and people are just going and getting and there's a huge line of taxis I didn't see, I didn't look for the Lyft or the Uber or the uh, shuttle vans, but there's just people getting, there's, there's more than enough taxis. They're all lined up, but you have to walk down until there's an empty one that somebody's not loading up on. And I did that and got in the taxi. And of course the guy said, where are you going? Where did you go? And where have you been? And all this. And, um, I said, oh, well, I was in the Philippines, and, and uh, I got the taxi and went to uh, to Woodland Hills. And I'm in the U.S. Uh, we'll see if I I might make some more videos about the United States, but 
um, that's about it for now, i believe.